Yo, what's going on, Cowboys fans? Hey, 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 had a very busy week. I've been wanting to get to this video sooner, um, but, you know, things just didn't line up. You guys know what's going on with me. Listen, uh, before we do get to this video, you guys, make sure you guys check out the description box. Um, got the NG payroll in there, and I just released a project. You guys, check out the music. Um, hey, there's a lot going on, but I'm able to still be able to kind of get some Cowboys topics to you guys. And this is kind of like segueing into different battles and what I kind of think and, and, you know, just how, you know, how how things may play out. All right. Because regardless of what you, me, whoever's blue, green, orange, yellow thinks, the fact is. This regime is not Jason Garrett and the boys. This regime is not Rod Marinelli and the boys. And there will be changes. We saw it with Cooper Rush. We saw it with a couple other moves this offseason. You see it with bringing in Gerald McCoy. And, and there's going to be turnover, to me, with this McCarthy regime, f for the better. For the better. Bringing in players that, to be honest, want to do things the right way. You know, last year when Tristan Hill was drafted, it kind of was a head scratcher, and I think Cowboys fans kind of, you know, <clears throat> we all kind of made ourselves love the pick. But let's be honest, third to fourth round grade, maybe overdraft in the second round, and now that draft class looks kind of goofy. But I'm gonna talk about a couple things, all right? And and you guys feel free to jump in, feel free to let me know what you guys think, all right? But what we're gonna talk about is the system, the staff. And run defender. All right, now, Foots, make sense of that. System, staff, run defender. Now, when you're thinking about um, Tristan Hill, let's be honest. For only two games last year, other than that, he was a healthy scratch. That's not good. Two tackles last year, one TFL. Excuse me, five tackles last year. You guys hear the pages um, turning. Five tackles, one TFL. That's not good. That's not bad. That's awful. All right, that's that's just flat out awful, guys. And um, you know, a lot of people will give you Demarcus Lawrence. Yeah, you know, Demarcus Lawrence. He didn't start his career off great, but the problem is when you want to compare those two, Demarcus Lawrence still had the same regime. Tristan Hill does not. The ironic thing about it was Rob Marinelli stood on the table for Tristan Hill, and he's gone. And Tristan Hill, you know, you heard things about his work ethic. You heard things about this, that, and the third. And right now. If you're asking me, if I look at film, I just look at a Neville Gallimore. We're going to get to some film. I look at a Neville Gallimore who right now is stronger. He tries harder. And he's, quite frankly, better against the one. You saw Tristan Hill's first step, but I don't think that he plays the run well. Let's get to some of Neville's film. Okay, here you go. Right here, look how he attacks that guard. I mean, excuse me, attacks that guard. Guards off shoulder, spills the play out, all right? And then the linebacker comes down. What you're going to have to realize, guys, is that in the league, defensive tackles, their goal is not always to make the play. Look at the spin move right there. It gets Ellinger on the ground. It's not always your goal in the NFL to make the play. So while you're flying upfield, which Rod Marinelli had us doing, that's that system talk. He had us flying up the field, our D linemen flying up the field every play. Sometimes that's not your goal right there. Look, look how he two gaps right there. Boom. Okay. He takes on two defenders. And he allows his linebackers to fill. He allows his other defenders to fill. In the NFL, you're going to have to do that. You're going to have to play stout at the point of attack. Every play is not going to be first step quickness just getting up the field. Yeah, you can do that at Little League High School, but you're not going to be able to do that. You're going to have to play the run. Look at stack shed, boom, make a tackle, all right? And I like this game because though they were down in the LSU game, he still fought hard. That showed me a lot about a player's character. Again, stack shed, boom. Is this uh oh no that wasn't my boy uh okay who was that what running back was that from LSU I always forget my man's name he just went to Kansas City nonetheless you guys see how he was able to stack shed be violent at the point again here boom look at a rip against um Ellinger so those were just a couple of um oh that's what Clyde uh, Edwards Alaire Edwards Alaire I had a brain fart y'all for a second but anyway. Those were just a couple clips just really highlighting, you know, some of Neville Gallimore's strong suits. All right, last year I think he had, what, eight tackles for losses. You guys check me on that. Actually, I think Tristan Hill's college production was better. The problem is when you think about the system that he's going to be in, 
I just don't know the fit. Then you talk about a Gerald McCoy. Then you talk about, you know, the pieces that are already here. I think that this team wants Neville Gallimore. Ne- put it like this. Neville Gallimore will have every chance to win the job. That doesn't mean that Tristan Hill will get cut. But what's going to happen is, does this now turn into a Taco Charlton situation? Where he's on the team, he's just forgotten about. Because there's nobody on this video who could tell me that if you're a healthy scratch year in, I mean, excuse me, game in and game out as a rookie, that, you know, you know, look at Malik Collins. Let's take Malik Collins for an example. Five sacks his rookie year. He gave you something, all right? And everybody will go back to that DeMarcus Lawrence, give him time, this, that, and the third. The problem with that is, guys, this regime doesn't have time, and this regime did not draft you. Will McClay's motto is, I love you. But my job is to replace you, okay? And there's nothing wrong with good, healthy competition. All right, look at Joe Burrow. You know, he started at Ohio State, all right? He started at Ohio State. Haskins beat him out. He comes to LSU. He's the best player in the draft, bona fide number one overall pick. Let's see if competition, if nothing else, brings the best out of a one Tristan Hill. But right now, if you're asking me, I think Neville Gallimore is a better player. It's your boy Fuss the King as always. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Hit up the description box. One of our new sponsors, Next Generation Payroll. Listen, do you guys have a small business? Well, Next Generation can help you pay your employees. It's pretty cool. They offer a bunch of different services, and basically what they are is a cloud-based payroll software, all right? They also deal with consulting. They also will help you with your taxes, state and federal. To me, that's pretty cool. They can also help grow your business. They can help with online and, um, um, visibility. So with all that being said, you guys need to give Next Generation Payroll a look. You can do that by doing what? Going to ngpayroll.com or 214-396-220. ngpayroll.com or 214-396-220. They have a bunch of different services for small businesses, startup businesses, or just family-owned local businesses that really need help. Again, that's ngpayroll.com or 214-396-220.